The moment we arrived, we could feel it. It was so captivating and inviting. The presence of the Lord still remains here. It was as if we had stepped into the realm of heaven. Our very souls felt unveiled as we stood in the throne room of his presence. All we could do is worship the beautiful majesty of our King, Jesus. When we boarded the bus on our second day here in Israel, our hearts were filled with wonder. We were headed to the Sea of Galilee. Our first stop was the Mount of Beatitudes. Sitting on top of a hill overlooking the sea, the sweet aroma from the lush gardens and melodic songs of the birds echoed through the air. As we walked around the Chapel of Beatitudes, mingling with people from many nations, we became acutely aware of the rich presence of the Lord here. As we listened to Dr. Brian Simmons read from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, a joy began welling up from deep within our spirit. Overflowing like a fountain, it felt like we were transported back in time to this glorious moment, sitting on the hillside, listening to the very words of Jesus. The Sermon on the Mount, it's the constitution of the church. This is the, the foundation stone of everything we believe. Today we want to share from the Beatitudes because the teachings of Jesus were verbal drops of glory that spilled. There were, no one ever spoke like Jesus. It's Matthew 5. One day Jesus saw a vast crowd of people gathering to hear him. So he went up the slope of a hill with his followers and disciples spread over the hillside. Jesus began to teach them. What happiness comes to you when you feel your spiritual poverty. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What delight comes to you when you wait upon the Lord. For you will find what you long for. What blessing comes to you when gentleness lives in you. For you will inherit the earth. How enriched you are when you crave righteousness, for you will be surrounded with fruitfulness. How satisfied you are when you demonstrate tender mercy, for tender mercy will be demonstrated to you. What bliss you experience when your heart is pure, 
For then your eyes will open to see more and more of God. How joyful you are when you make peace. For then you will be recognized as a true child of God. How enriched you are when you bear the wounds of being persecuted for doing what is right. For that is when you experience the realm of heaven's kingdom. How ecstatic you can be when people insult and persecute you. And speak all kinds of cruel lies about you because of your love for me. So leap for joy since your heavenly reward is great. For you are being rejected the same way the prophets were before you. Your lives are like salt among the people. But if you, like salt, become bland, how can your saltiness be restored? Flavorless salt is good for nothing. It will be thrown out and trampled on by others. Your lives light up the world. Let others see your light from a distance. For how can you hide a city that stands on a hilltop? Are we not seated up on high? Are we not a city? The New Jerusalem Company? You're not going to the New Jerusalem, you are the New Jerusalem. We are a New Jerusalem people. Hebrews 12, we have already come to New Jerusalem. We've already come to Zion. Zion is a realm, not a place. For we followers of Yeshua, Zion is not just a hill we're going to see in Jerusalem. It is a realm where God is enthroned and we with him. 